You've got a red light flashing on your 20 series card or your 30 series card or maybe even your 40 series card. What can you do about it and what's going on? First of all, the red light flashing means that it's not drawing enough power. And this often happens when people build their own computers or maybe you went to a place and they've built it not too well for you because they don't know about newer graphics cards and they've just put in one cable and they've split it or they've put in two cables and they've split that. Some cards require three cables. Let's have a look over here. Here you can see the three cables going into the power source for this RTX 3080 and you'll notice that there are other cables coming out of this particular bundle. But if your card is a newer graphics card and has more plugs, it's highly recommended that you use one cable per plug. If you split it, you might not be able to have enough power for your card. And when that happens, it will either flash red or it will just stay red, just to say that there is no power source going in there at all. First of all, here is the recommended power supply unit table for you. So you can see which power supply you need for which card. If you build your computer and it doesn't have enough power, you might run into power supply issues. And in this case, you might get that red flashing light or a red light. Here are some power supply units that I really like to use. And you can see a lot of them are what you call modular. So for example, this one here, you can see there are no cables coming out and they supply you with the modular cable so that you can plug it in yourself. And this makes cable management a lot neater. And also you can customize your own cables if you want a better look. Over here, you can see this particular one comes with a built-in a motherboard power supply and then there are some modular cables here. If you are going to build your own computer and you're going to put in a pretty new hefty graphics card that has a lot of power draw, you might want to consider a power supply that actually can bring you the three cables. Some power supplies, especially the lower power wattage ones, won't have enough cables for you because you'll be needing them for other parts of the motherboard and the different parts of the computer. All right, I hope that's helped you with your card and your troubleshooting issues with why there's red lights and so on. If you still have red lights after you've done all these things, you might want to consider installing newer drivers or you might just want to restart your computer or shut it down and turn it back on and that usually resets a lot of the stuff that's going on. And then hopefully you can monitor this after a game or two and watch the performance and there'll be no more red light. Wow, you've made it to the end screen. Not a lot of people make it here. Click on the subscribe button or the like button or the bell button or any of these videos, they're all buttons for you to press. It's really fun, trust me. Press them, press them, press them, press, press all of them.